Hello and welcome to today's Monday update. Uh, this past weekend, uh, we had lots going on uh, celebrating our graduates in our worship services. Uh, we had a field day for young people after service, and then we also had a student ministry event. Uh, thanks be to God uh, for all of those ministry activities. Thanks be to God for all the volunteers who helped make it happen. Well, in worship, uh, we're thinking about friends, and one of the words that we heard uh, was from Genesis 33. We hear that Esau ran to meet him, his brother, embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. Uh, what a beautiful description of reconciliation. Jacob and Esau, they had all kinds of hurts. They had all kinds of years of discord and strife. But God worked healing, peace, and reconciliation between them. Uh, as we live together as friends, let us always look to our friend Jesus for his power for healing, for his power for reconciliation. Well, as we begin this new week, a few things I want to tell you about. Uh, you may notice behind me, uh, there's some things uh, here in the narthex at the Meridian campus uh, we are uh, working on a Narthex refresh. That's part of our Together for Tomorrow capital campaign. Uh, you know, they often say that ministry is messy. Uh, for example, next week we're going to have 200 vacation Bible school participants, 100 volunteers, 300 people or more uh, doing ministry here in the Narthex and in the church, and it gets messy. <laughs> Uh, walls get messy. Uh, they're in need of painting, some scuffs, some stains and marks. Uh, carpeting, it gets messy. Uh, it's in need of replacement. And so the carpeting having stains that simply can't be removed anymore by our cleaning staff. Uh, in fact, this whole Narthex area, it's been about uh, 16 to 18 years uh, that the paint and the carpeting have uh, served our congregation. So we are in need of, of new paint and new carpeting. Uh, we could, of course, uh, keep it all the same color, or keep the flooring the same, uh, but this is always an opportunity to, to ask the question of, of what, what changes might be helpful. Uh, we've worked with a design group, uh, and they've had some suggestions for us. Uh, one of those suggestions would be uh, using LVT flooring, uh, like what we have in the uh, Fellowship Center, along with carpeting, uh, and using both of those uh, in, in a combination uh, to help with high traffic areas, uh, also uh, tying in various parts of the building, uh, and then also uh, kind of serving as a, a visual cue for wayfinding, uh, helping people as they come in the door uh, make their way to the sanctuary, to the lower level, the circle, uh, or to the fellowship center. So we're inviting people to uh, take a look at the, uh, the pallets that have been suggested and uh, give us feedback on that. We also have uh, some seating here. And you may notice that this is seating that we've taken from the lower level and brought up. This is just a representative of what the final plans might look like. It's kind of a scaled down version, a little smaller, uh, but we want you to try it out, see how it works for gathering uh, with others and for conversation, and then let us know uh, the thoughts you may have. So any observations or feedback you have, please drop a note to office at knowingjesus.org. Uh, in other news, uh, beyond the narthex, <laughs> Uh, we have some staff changes on the horizon. Uh, Dennis Sohn, our Director of Operations for the past six years, he is retiring, uh, retiring in early July. So on Sunday, June 23rd at Meridian Campus, uh, between services, uh, we're going to have a retirement celebration for Dennis. This is an opportunity for us to say thank you, uh, to celebrate Dennis, all that he's done for the church. So be sure to plan on coming to that June 23rd between services. Uh, also, uh, I've been working with the personnel action team to develop plans for how to respond to this retirement. Uh, we are planning on a few different things. Uh, we're planning to uh, increase 
One of our part-time staff members, uh, Carol Dreps, she's going to increase to full-time. Uh, Carol's going to continue her work at the Christ Campus office, uh, continuing to work with the community kitchen as well. But she'll also be taking on some new roles, some of the work that Dennis was doing. So Carol will uh, also be working with other human care ministries, uh, as well as taking on some responsibilities related to uh, building schedules and overseeing uh, facility maintenance and upkeep. Uh, we've also uh, posted and filled a new director of operations position. Uh, this is a part-time position, 20 hours a week, uh, and our new director of operations is Ken Ulrich. Uh, Ken is a member of St. Luke, uh, and he also has extensive uh, professional background in human resources uh, in the corporate world, as well as in nonprofit settings, uh, church-related settings. So we're really excited uh, to have Ken uh, joining the St. Luke staff team. Uh, Ken is going to be working in the areas of human resources, but also congregational uh, policy management, uh, and then working also with uh, major facility upgrades, things like that. So as you can imagine, uh, these are, are very important tasks. These are mission-critical responsibilities uh, for the smooth operating of our St. Luke ministry. Uh, I would invite you and encourage you to have our staff and St. Luke as a whole in your prayers uh, during this season of transition. Just a few other quick announcements for you. Outdoor worship uh, begins this Thursday. That's the 13th. That's at 7 p.m. at the Outdoor Worship Center here at the Meridian Campus. Uh, also, this Sunday, this Sunday at the 11 a.m. Meridian Campus service, it will be outside. Uh, that's to help facilitate the preparation for VBS. Uh, and so that's outside, weather permitting, and we invite you to bring a lawn chair. Uh, then also, VBS is next week. Uh, we need prayer. Lots of prayer. Prayers that things would go smoothly and well. Prayers that the gospel would be proclaimed. Uh, we also are in need of just a few more VBS volunteers. So if you've been on the fence about helping with VBS, we do need you. Uh, and we would really appreciate your help. So if you are available uh, to serve as a VBS volunteer, please uh, help and uh, reach out to the church office. And then finally, uh, we have a, uh, an Assembly of Voters meeting that will be June 25th. That's at 7 p.m. at the Meridian Campus. Uh, at that Assembly of Voters meeting, uh, we're going to be approving a budget for the next fiscal year. Uh, we'll be electing and re-electing uh, leaders to the governing board and the elders, and then also uh, we'll receive a State of the Congregation report. There's a lot going on, right? But thanks be to God, we get to do it as friends. Uh, friends with one another, friends that are part of the body of Christ, and friends of Jesus. So God's blessings to you this week as you live as one who knows the peace and the power of the cross.